the Congregation of the Sisters of the Little Flower of Bethany was founded by Monsignor Raymond Francis Camillus Mascarenes with four lady teachers, namely Flora Mathes, Sister Mary Claire, Marceline Menezes, Mother Martha, Alice Mathias, Sister Mary Lutz, and Regina Gertrude Gonzalez, Sister Mary Gertrude, on 16 July 1921. The congregation was canonically erected on 28 July 1932, 11 years after its inception. Bethany received the pontifical status from the Vatican in 1971. This year, 2021, marks the centenary of the congregation. The first canonical novitiate of the congregation was opened on 15 May 1933 in Bethany Mother House, Bendur in Mangalore. The novitiate was transferred to Rosa Mystica Campus, Gorpur, a more conducive place in 1952 to become the powerhouse of the congregation. It went on to be the only novitiate for Bethany until 1996, that is for 75 years. In 1986, the congregation was formed into provinces. The need was felt to have a second novitiate as the number of homies were from North and Northeast India were on the rise. Sister Agnella B.S., the then Superior General in Council took the decision to establish the second novitiate in Calcutta. Sister Kenesia, the Provincial Superior of Northeast Province, identified the land in Barasat in the outskirts of Calcutta and purchased about two acres of land and registered it in July 1993. Mr. George Philip of Happy Memory was instrumental in getting this land. We gratefully remember him for his caring support to the sisters in the purchase of land and while putting up the novitiate building. The foundation for the building was laid on February 2, 1995, on the Feast of the Presentation of Jesus in the Temple. Mr. Halder was a contractor and Mr. Amiodas, the architect. When the essential sections of the building was ready, it was inaugurated and blessed on Thursday, 13 June 1996, in the platinum year of the foundation of Bethany. The guests on this occasion were Archbishop Henry de Souza, Bishop Cyprian Moniz, Sister Agnella, the Superior General, Seclarina, General Counselor, all the five provincial superiors, Sister Kenesia, Sister Miriam, Sister Christella, Sister Felicia, and Sister Georgita, and about 20 priests and many sisters of other congregations, besides our own Bethany sisters and the lay representatives. Sister Agnella, the then Superior General, inaugurated the building at 10 a.m. And Archbishop Henry de Souza, the Archbishop of Calcutta, blessed the new house of formation. Eucharistic celebration followed thereafter. A group of 10 porcelains were ready to be initiated on the same day along with Sister Joy as the novice directress. 
Sister Hilarita, the assistant, and Sister Gilbertine for home management. In the afternoon on that same day, 13th June 1996, at 2.30 p.m., the postulants were initiated into the novitiate formation. Sister Joy, the novice directress, in addition to the classes, had a great task of designing the campus. Along with the novices and support of the sisters, designed the garden, planted fruit trees, and gave an elegant look to the campus. The virgin soil started putting forth new shoots and yielded a variety of flowers, vegetables, and greenery around. After two years, the first batch of novices made their first profession on 13th June 1998. Sister Joy, the first novice directress, was elected general counselor in the general chapter held in May 1998. However, she as the general coordinator of formation continued to guide the formation in Barasat. The successive novice directresses are Sister Lucy Maria, Sister Erasma, Sister Mary Laldik Zoali, Sister Selina, Sister Ruth, and Sister Claire Topo at present. Present, there are 16 senior novices and 24 junior novices.
generally, the initiation of the novices takes place on 13th June every year. And the first professions are held on 25th April. Sister Claire Topo is the seventh novice directress, assisted by Sister Jansi, Sister Elizabeth, and Sister Renita Clara. Sister Jean Marie is in charge of home management. Sister Elizabeth, who has served three years as assistant, is moving out to update herself. The novice directresses follow the formation policy and guidelines given in the Book of Constitutions and up-to-date guidelines as issued in the general chapter decrees. The formation ratio provides the details of the program. The ratio is brought up to date and was released in February 2021. The formation program of the Novishid receives the attention and care it deserves. It is monitored at various levels. First, Provincial Superior of Northeast Province, now Guwahati Province. She reviews and monitors the formation program, the life of sister formators as a community well-being of novices, placing of formation personnel, and temporary care of the entire house, whereas the full financial support is received from the general aid. She makes the annual visitation of the novitiate and pays visits as and when necessary. A common meeting of all the four provincial superiors is held two to three times in the year in the novitiate. Meetings are held among themselves with the formators and the novices groups. The annual pastoral plan is worked out and details are drawn up. Once a year, that is, at the end of the academic year, the novice directress presents an overall audio-visual report of the novitiate to the provincial superiors. The superior general makes an annual visit of the novitiate and gets to know the climate of formation and gives a feedback to the formators and to the provincials if need be. Her visits help in maintaining consistency in the formation program in the entire congregation. The formation houses in and around Barasat are multiplied. This helps in many ways, like Formings get beneficial exposure. Formation personnel are shared. It becomes easier to have spiritual assistance in the liturgical celebrations, especially for daily Mass. It is a witness to collaboration among diverse diocesan and religious formation houses. We are grateful to our past superiors gender, Sister Agnella, Sister Jyoti, Sister Wilberta, and to the present Sister Rosaline for their total spiritual and material care that the novitiate receives. Good morning to all of you. My dear provincial superiors, Sister Sandhya of Guwahati Province, Sister Shaila, Eastern Province, Sister Irasma, Northern Province, and Sister Lucius, Siltar Province, all the provincial councillors, 
the superior novice directress, Sister Claire Topo, members of the novitiate community, the novices, and all our guests. It's a happy coincidence that during the centenary year of the congregation, the Bethany Novitiate Barasat Kolkata is celebrating its Silver Jubilee, which is an important milestone in the annals of the congregation of the Sisters of the Little Flower of Bethany. I deem it my privilege to congratulate you heartily and pray showers of graces and blessings on all of you who are blessed to be present on this joyous and momentous occasion. Hearty congratulations and a happy Silver Jubilee to all of you. Sister Lillis, the General Coordinator for Formation and my team members send their warm greetings to all of you. Our founder, Servant of God, Raymond Francis Camillus Mascarenas, a foresighted visionary, articulated his dream for Bethany on the 31st anniversary of the congregation in these words. Let it grow, let it flower, and let it bear fruit. Indeed, it became a reality as the years rolled by. The expansion of Bethany in the North in 1961 and Northeast in 1962 provided us with new and ample opportunities to nurture the faith of the people, as a result of which, obviously, Bethany Congregation received fresh blossoms from these areas. The increase in the number of vacations from the north and northeastern belt necessitated the opening of a second novitiate in 1996 to make possible the formation of the candidates in their cultural setup. By now, nearly 300 novices have made their profession here and I am very happy about it. Thanks to God for his marvelous intervention in fulfilling his designs to carry forward Bethany congregation during the last two and a half decades through this novitiate for the good of the humanity. This truly resonates with the centenary theme, let Bethany grow, flower and bear fruit. I am grateful to Sister Agnella the then Superior General, who with her foresight and with the assistance of Sister Kinesia, the then Provincial Superior of Northeast Province, succeeded in erecting the novitiate 25 years ago in response to the growing number of novices from local cultures. I appreciate the dedicated services of Sister Joy, Sister Lucy Maria, Sister Irasma, Sister Mary Lalit Zuwali, Sister Selina, Sister Ruth Mao, and Sister Claire Topo as novice directresses and their assistants. The provincial superiors of Northeast Province till 2020 and at present Gohati Province under whose jurisdiction the novitiate was placed, have taken full responsibility of this novitiate in managing it effectively and efficiently. The collaboration of other provincial superiors of North, East and Silcha provinces is praiseworthy. I acknowledge the efforts of all those during these 25 years have taken keen interest in animating vocations by the inspiration of their life and their personal contacts with girls in the schools, hostels and parishes under the guidance of their provincial superiors and their teams. I am indebted 
to the Archbishop, Most Reverend Thomas de Souza, and his predecessors who have supported and guided us with their pastoral care and concern. Many priests, especially from the Jesuit pre novitiate in the vicinity, the minor seminary of the diocese, and the parish priests of Barasat have assisted a great deal in the formation of our novices. Thanks to you. Dear novices, I am much delighted that so many young souls have felt the attraction towards Jesus, our Lord and beloved spouse. So here you are, from different states and cultures of our country, aspiring to be transformed into the person of Jesus. You were chosen not because of your capacities or family background or because you deserved a merit, but out of sheer gratuitous love for God. So I say, rejoice in your vocation. Thank the Lord for his great and awesome gift to be a consecrated person. We too thank the Lord for your gift. We, being in the process of following Jesus, need to be transformed gradually in our inner attitudes and actions so that we become like Christ. Therefore, we have the period of formation. On this spiritual journey, may the Holy Spirit, the agent of transformation, assist you while you cooperate with His graces with a sense of personal responsibility. Your formators will guide you and accompany you. Those who made their commitment to Jesus have been living their life as missionaries, proclaiming the good news of Jesus in India and abroad, bearing witness to a living God. May this house always be a powerhouse to empower the young souls to become like Christ in his heart and mind, so that we can say the same Paul, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Galatians 2.20 Once again, a happy, joyous and grace-filled silver jubilee to all of you. Thank you. We thank God for joining with Bethany in these past 25 years of Bethany Novitiate and with the entire congregation during this century. We are thankful to all those who are associated with Bethany Novitiate House from its inception to this day, namely the Archbishops of Calcutta, Baptist priests, Jesuit Fathers in particular, and to all the religious sisters in and around Parasa. Thank you for your presence here, dear Archbishop, Fathers, Brothers, Sisters. We have experienced your solidarity always for 25 years in the past and today. Do continue to pray for us that we may be true to Bethany's mission and charism. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to your word. Let Bethany grow, blossom, bear fruit in plenty for the next century.